What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Civilization 5 of 2014 Brazil Let's Play. Hopefully this episode we can get some things underway, get a few more planes and then we should be ready to go. I think if we can get a little, I think three more turns then we can buy two more. Now I think we can probably have enough to start our invasion. There's a few other countries at war with Argentina so it should, you know, it's not like the whole world's gonna get pretty angry at us. Just gotta be careful because we've only got one happiness. So I'm not really sure how that is going to fare out. There's not really anything we can do at the moment to increase it. We've done all the all the social policies. So we'll see. We might have to do some trading with some of the freedom nations. See what resources we can get in. Which isn't the end of the world. We're making plenty of money. And the resources at most cost like 7 gold per turn. So when we're making 254, I guess we can't complain if it's what we've got to do. We're also about to be gaining a lot of production boosts. We've got the ironworks, we've got two mechanized factories coming, two normal factories on their way, and another mechanized factory, although those two are going to take quite a bit longer. But there's a load of people along our coast at the moment, just just moving around, we'll keep an eye on them all, see what happens. But yeah, we're about to hit turn number 40, we'll see what happens, see how it all pans out. Senegal has declared war on India, interesting. Right, a unit, who needs orders? Caravan. Did not know I still had a caravan. I'm going to delete it. Sorry, caravan. <laughs> Bit harsh, but we do need cargo ships at this point. What? Oh. Um, please don't be exposed. 480. Well, that set me back on the buying planes. Oh, well, we'll grab one more. Jet bomber. Okay, maybe a few more turns. No. Right. America. You will have resources. Copper. I don't think I have copper. Let me check. No. Okay. Can we buy it off you? He wants 15 gold. Five. Uh, he wants all our strategic resources. I don't really want to give those away. Can I... 15 gold was tempting. Can I just give you 7 gold per turn like a normal person? What, now you want that as well? You, I don't want 28 gold back. I don't need cash back. What, what's wrong with you? Oh, I want to give him the aluminium. Um, all the oil. That's all our resources. Just for four happiness. You know what, Barack? Screw you. Find someone else to trade with. Not you. You've. I bet everyone's sold out. They've all sold it to like Russia. And they're like, ah, let's not tell each other. Someone's got to have some luxuries, surely. Nope. <laughs> Nobody. One. So they won't trade away their last copy. Seriously? <laughs> How's America the only country in the world with a little bit of leftover resources? Ah, oh, furs. 50 gold per turn. Someone woke up on the wrong side of the bed, didn't they? That is That is ridiculous. <laughs> I'm not paying that much. Jeez. Nope. Nothing. India, you must have some stuff that isn't irradiated. Nope, just marble. <laughs> Japan. Surely, come on. you got to be our saviour here, Japan. Wales. Are you serious? You don't even have anything. South Korea. To be honest, I don't know. I don't think North Korea has any luxuries in their lap. No, they don't. That's that's pretty pretty savage on old Kim. Is that everyone? Is that everyone? No, Indonesia, come on. Seriously? <laughs> I think everyone else beat us to it. They're all trading with each other. Oh my goodness. Well, America has got the only extra... America and Russia have the only spare luxuries in the world. Probably. And both of them are asking for pretty ridiculous demands. So on that note, did I check Canada? Come on, Canada, you got a lot of land. Yep, you got nothing. Ha. <sighs> Never mind then. We will wait. Hopefully, what are we voting on now? It's the world's Cong uh, world leader, actually. Yeah, world leader. Okay, well, we'll just keep India in the race. Vote for them again. No one else can come second or first. It's already decided. Unless someone buys all the city-states. I mean, I could go around doing that for fun. Be an interesting game. Just like money. 
roll around the world with all the money, win it that way. That'd be an interesting attempt at a series. I wonder who'd be the best hit. I imagine like being Saudi Arabia, there's a lot of oil, six oil. I think these might be, I don't know, maybe not on a six oil there. Just sell all that oil. You'll be fine. God, that, that sucks for India. It's pretty scary for Russia and America. If China takes all of this, they will basically, that'll be like number three and four in the world, sort of merging together. Not what, not what numbers one and two would want by any means. I think China might be winning now. I don't know. Score. 1,134, 1,107, 1,104. So yes, it's China, Russia, then America. China neutral towards us. That's nice of them. They're probably sort of thinking we probably shouldn't anger anyone right now. Right, create great work. Oh, who cares? Let's just have a golden age. Oh, we're falling into unhappiness. Are you serious? So I can't even start. Well, I can start a war, but, but it will make things an awful lot worse. Um, obviously, it can't fall below minus 10. I don't think it's too bad to actually have it. I don't think anything bad happens between 0 and 10, right? It's 1%. 1 oh, no. Cities grow at a quarter speed. Golden production is reduced by 2%. So that's not ridiculous. Like 2% won't actually impact anything. So, yeah, we'll have to figure... I guess there is an option. Um, there is a way out of it. It just takes... I'm going to go... Okay, I think we need to do this first, right? Where is it? Stadiums. Every, oh, there's other options that are quicker than stadiums. But just let's build a round of happiness buildings everywhere. Fix the issue so we can just have no worries when it begins. Hopefully. With all these new mechanized factories hopefully speeding up the production so it doesn't take forever. Ooh. Yeah, I'll take your free money. Thank you. Three gold per turn for accepting an embassy. Or two gold plus one gold per turn. Either way, every little helps the Brazilian Brazilian Empire grow. Egypt just declared war on everyone. Wow. So they became the ally of India. That sucks for Egypt. They didn't even get a choice. And that's probably bad for them. Not that those nations can get over there, but probably don't want to be at war with them. Kazakhstan has now declared war on South Africa. Allied to Mexico. That is an unusual alliance. South Africa makes peace with Panama. You do get some nice, fun little stories down the side there. One thing I do like about this mod, just all the different countries, they probably don't interact that much. Italy wants Catholicism, okay. Well, is the Great Prophet still here? I think he's dead. Yeah, he's gone. Right, adopt policy. Do any of these give happiness? One happiness for every ten citizens. All right, there we go. So now it got us to seven. That's a start. Create a great work. I didn't want to, but it's fine. I was supposed to send him to go play a concert, wasn't I? Never mind. Okay, one turn. We're going to get those two mechanized factories. That's pretty good. Open borders. Uh, yeah, sure. They're definitely going to just send everything they have through us and to attack Argentina now. Great. So America's starting to show up a little bit. I see that destroyer. It's not much. Okay, America. Yeah, go on then, Obama. Go on, Barack. You can come through. It's fine. I'll forgive that you... Oh, I should have asked for that one resource that he wouldn't give me. Don't think he would have been keen on it. Is he invading Mexico, or is he just stood here? And is that... A, I don't, oh, no. It's a, it's a caravan. I thought there was... thought he was driving through a... Um, through a spaceship part, but I think that's just a trader from Canada. By the look of it, yeah. No need to be concerned for them yet. Anyway, may maybe later Mexico. <laughs> or, I mean, maybe America should be concerned if Mexico's getting spaceship parts. That'd be kind of funny. Mexico win the space race. I'd really rub it in, I think. <laughs> Don't think there'd be many Americans happy on that one. Right, there we go. Those are done, which gives us huge production boosts of a whole two turns to the fusion plant. <laughs> Great. National Epic. What would that do? Plus one happiness in six turns. Thank you. Apollo program. What else will increase its stadium in eight turns? There we go. Let's just try and get it. Oh, it fell to three already. It is not. We're just... Everyone's 
maybe we, maybe we want to be just negative so that the cities stop growing. They're all sort of growing a bit much. In fact, I think we probably should put them on limit growth. I don't want to do that if that's the wrong thing, but I think that probably is what we need to do. I think we should let them get to 10 and then stop. And as they're all at 10, <laughs> we're just about there. Yeah, I think we should try to keep them in multiples of 10. So let them all get to 10 or 20 and ignore that one. <laughs> so 11. I think, yeah, because if not, there's just not enough to go around. It's not like there's more land to grab stuff. And, yeah, you can't really grab land without having a war, which gives you more negative happiness when you take a city. I mean, Argentina only has, like, one luxury, so it's not going to be... Not going to be a gold mine of happiness. We already have crabs, so that's not great. Yeah, it's literally just going to be... Oh, there's whales. But, I mean, for five cities, that's not really worth it. America? Ah, oh, they just position their nukes right next to the city. I feel like shooting them from there to there is not effective, considering your boat is right there. But I'll let you... Oh, so now, so now we're going to be rushed into this. I wasn't ready. No... Um, where is that really long? None of them are that long now. They're all down to like 10 turns. Can I rush this? No. I don't want to rush that either. Okay, I'm going to go rush that stadium. Down to one turn. Delegates, world leader. Who's it going to be? You can actually make India win. I don't think it makes a difference. I think they just get to them and China. We can't get anyone to beat India because no one's got 16 votes or more. So yeah, we might as well just vote for India. Show our support. I guess we just need to just uh, hop on in there. They denounced us, so that's fine. Reduces how bad it is. Do these planes need range? No. Oh, it died. Okay, let's focus on a different target first. Dang, that was savage. It just died straight away. I was not expecting that. It is in the mountains. I probably should have had better better knowledge. Although that said... That one didn't die. The first one always dies. That's so annoying. Is there, there's another one under here. There's another three. Alright, Rosaria. There we go. Annex, create. I'm going to pop it. I don't think we can, can justify taking it over properly. Any more planes? I don't want to help America, but I mean, we may as well start on Buenos Aires. Jet fighter. Right, next turn. Let's see how this goes. Conquered one. They might. I imagine they'll put up a bit of a fight back. But at least if we can cut off the mountain cities, if we get the coastal ones, then that stops someone like America taking them. Should be good. Obviously, we've got to be careful not to gift it to them either. Get the right, right balance there, or it could all end in disaster. Which we don't want. Well, maybe you guys do. Maybe you want to see me get frustrated, panic. Everyone's focused on the carnival. No one even knows what's going on down south. It's all good. We actually got the wine, so our happiness went up. First time ever. <laughs> Brilliant. Sadly, there'll be no resources with Buenos Aires. So hopefully there's some good stuff in there that will provide some benefits. Or we could be in trouble. Quite possibly. <clears throat> oh no, that's not good news for India. You don't even exist anymore, go away. <laughs> Pakistan joined against India, so I'm not sure they will be doing too well. Obviously that means they could get hit with more nukes as well. But they seem to have held China off, despite all the nuking. So that's good. It was just a revenge strike for the nuke on Beijing. Enemy spotted. I would imagine so, since we're right next to them. They tried to sneak past us, that's bold. Right, jet fighter. Intercept, no, airstrike mode. Attack. There we go, where's the helicopter? Oh, serious, I missed, oh my, wow. <laughs> that was bad. Right, jet bomber, please don't take too much damage. It didn't die. I don't think it died. Okay, let's see. I don't want to get it too low and then mess up. 
Yeah, I think we have to wait one more turn anyway. There is actually a destroyer here. We could take it over, I guess. Worst case scenario. That's all our planes that are left. No, nope, there's three more up here. Bingo. Bonus for these cities. To the red. America doesn't seem to have any melee units. You can't actually reach. Let's move you down here. I, I think we have to wait one more turn anyway. Oop. Heal, grid off, can you go there, there we go, that will be it for this episode, so as always if you have enjoyed be sure to leave a like and a comment down below, be sure to subscribe as well if you're new to the channel, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.